I've lived in the northern beaches all my life. When I grew up, I was very much a swimmer, surfer. Um, did a little bit of life saving. An all-round sportsman and former deputy school principal, Bill Yates lived a full life until he began losing his memory six years ago. At the end of 2014, um, I knew there was something dramatically wrong. All of a sudden, it was gone. I couldn't remember anything. The photographic memory the now 60-year-old had always prided himself on was deteriorating rapidly. But it took him five years and four different specialists to get a diagnosis. Early January 2019, I had what is called a, perfu a perfusion test. And when that came back, and when she read the notes from Dr. Um, Garrity, she, she looked at me and said, Look, Bill, I'm pretty sure you've got Alzheimer's. And I sort of, you know, I wasn't bucking at that point in time. I thought, I think you're right too. It was a real double barrel hit, to be honest, because on one hand it was, well, look, you know, that's a relief because there's an explanation for his behaviour and the way that he'd been and certainly the way that he'd been feeling. Um, but then there was also the, the second whack of just devastation. Alzheimer's is currently diagnosed using a combination of memory tests and expensive brain scans once symptoms have already appeared. Now a new blood test has been developed that could provide quicker and cheaper diagnosis. It's, it's one of the most important findings of the decade in the field of Alzheimer's disease. There's no question that being able to identify the disease with high accuracy by a blood test especially in somebody who doesn't have symptoms, is a huge game changer. Alzheimer's damages the memory and other cognitive abilities by destroying connections between nerve cells in the brain. Proteins build up in the brain and cause these cells to die. The blood test looks for tiny amounts of a protein called PTAL217, which is elevated in people with the illness. Scientists now believe measuring this protein could predict Alzheimer's with 96% accuracy. I think it's a really great breakthrough for the field. So it's a diagnostic biomarker for the disease and that's critically important in terms of taking the whole field forward and coming up with therapies for Alzheimer's disease. It could help doctors diagnose the disease decades earlier and treat it before symptoms appear. So therapy is incredibly expensive. The type of treatments we're looking at, monoclonal antibodies, gene-related therapies, they are incredibly expensive. So to be putting patients on these therapies for potentially 20 to 25 years before they're even symptomatic. It could also push some potential sufferers to make critical lifestyle choices. Mental and physical engagement are critical for the outcomes of patients who have dementia today. And potentially they could start that sooner if they knew. Absolutely. Georgie. Bill Yates is doing as much as he can, working in a restaurant he part owns. Initially I was quite scared and you know, going up to customers and asking them, but now I'm not. I'm actually quite comfortable when, I'm, when I forget stuff that I'll actually tell a person or tell a couple who I'm with, I actually, look, I'm suffering from Alzheimer's disease, I'm sorry. And it is amazing how nice people are. Yep. And once he had made a decision that he wanted to fight it, and then he found he was able to fight it, it became a very different story. Much more positive and much more hopeful. You have to remain positive. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.